Well, lucky you. You get to see this 4 carat 23 D internally flawless emerald cut diamond do something remarkable. It's going to phosphoresce. I'm going to take shortwave ultraviolet light and I'm going to place it over the stone. And what this ultraviolet light does, it's, it's invisible. It's beyond our visible range. And it's causing the electrons to jump out of the orbit. And as they return, or as they gather more energy, they start to transform the invisible light to visible light. So after this short amount of time, you can see that the stone is starting to glow blue. When I return it, or remove it, you can sort of see that there's a little bit of blueness going on to the stone. And as I go over into a dark room, our laboratory, look at this baby glow. If I charge it a little bit longer, it glows a little bit brighter. But here it is in a completely darkened room, and this stone will continue to glow for 10 minutes. And it'll stay as bright as this for almost five, and then it slowly, slowly, slowly diminishes it. But it's the longest I've ever seen the stone phosphoresce. And actually, uh, the laboratory we submitted it to, the GIA, was one of the longest they'd ever seen it fluoresces or phosphoresce as well. So again, fluorescence and phosphorescence are similar in that they are both taking a higher energy wavelength and transforming it into a visible wavelength. The difference is, is that phosphorescence continues once the light source or the energy source is being removed whereas fluorescence stops immediately. Lucky you, you got to see this diamond on this day. Enjoy. I'm going to walk back up. Look, at, you can still see her glowing. Some lucky lady's going to have this on her finger. Ciao.